you one more time? I just check. Uh, I check uh, the the Google. Wow! I realized we do a lot of Auburn, and I like this one. Hope. Everybody say hope. Hope. Everybody say hope. Hope. Oh, hope. I wonder why he named this album Hope. And Tim told me one time he's a musician. You see, he plays such a wonderful saxophone. Can we get a round of applause for Jesus? Can you just stand up here, share with us? And I was told one time his muscle cannot play anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. So would you mind the story, the personal testimony with us? And I try to trans translate for you briefly. Okay, okay. come on here. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, I actually, my, my story is very long, but for the sake of time, I'm going to shorten it very much. I, uh, I don't even know how much time I have up here, but I, I have, um, uh, I was actually raised, uh, I was actually raised Roman Catholic um, when, I was, uh, when I was a kid. And when I, um, um, I was raised Roman Catholic, and, and when um, when I went into college, because of certain things that happened, I decided I didn't want to be a Catholic anymore. And I basically, I still believed in God, but I, I had this false idea of God. I looked at God as being, um, I looked at God as being um, like this, this daddy in the sky that would, that would accept anything I want to do. <laughs> so I could just live any way I want to. And so basically I, I lived a pretty bad life for some years. And um, which when you live in sin, then um, ultimately everything's gonna come crashing down. And, um, and so then I began a search, um, which, which resulted in somebody giving me a Bible and me reading the Bible for the first time and it just opened my eyes. And I was like, wow, I didn't know all this. Um, no one ever told me any of this before. And, and so, uh, to make a long story short, I gave my life to, to, to Jesus in 1996, and I've never looked back. And, um, and okay. just like, he from uh, and he he a lot of and he what 直到有一天,有一個人給他一本聖經,他打開聖經,才發現原來聖經當中有這麼多的寶貝我都不知道,然後在1999年我們還得把他的聖經歸給耶穌。Um, so I always had um I come from a musical family. Um my parents were opera singers. And uh and so I I picked up music very very young. Um on the clarinet, and then when I went to college, and I switched to the saxophone. It was always my goal um, to be a big jazz star on the on the on the saxophone, and that's why I eventually moved to New York City. And um and so when I got saved in nineteen ninety-six, then my next question was, okay God, what do I do now? Because I was a jazz musician and my career was going well and I didn't know any other Christians. So then um, eventually God started to introduce me to other Christians on the on the jazz scene and we formed a group of uh, Christian jazz musicians. And that's when uh, some of us started making um, CDs with Christian themes in them. 後來我就找到一些基督徒的音樂家,我們就成為一個團隊,然後也製作一些CD。And um so right when my career was really at a high point, um I had felt a a, a, a need to maybe become a, a preacher. And uh 
I felt like God was leading me in that direction. And at a certain point, um, a position opened up at a mega church in the city. And so I left my, my musical career and started working at this church. And I worked at this church for four years, and um, and um, and I was uh, um, I, I wrote most of the music in the church. I transcribed most of the music in the church for the band. So in four years, I was in the church, and all the brothers who sang the songs were my songs. And um, we had a lot of music that would come through, and I worked very, very hard at trying to keep up with the flow. And at a certain point, it started to affect my health. Um, eventually, uh, I was doing a lot of typing and, and playing the piano, and I developed carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. 后来因为很多打字又弹钢琴，所以我就得了音乐家的一种病，就是我的肌肉就慢慢好像没有办法灵活了。And I felt I did not understand because I felt that it was God's will for me to be there, but the longer I did my job, the worse my hands became. 所以我觉得很奇怪，为什么神呼召我到那个教会服侍，可是服侍的越认真，我就觉得我的手更僵硬。I eventually had two surgeries to try to fix my hands, but eventually my hands became almost useless. 结果, 经过两次手术, 不但没有更好, 我的手甚至完全变成没有办法用。It 我的手甚至完全变成没有办法用。It was very hard for me to play the saxophone, and I could not play the piano at all anymore. 结果我不但不能够弹我喜欢的萨克斯风,甚至钢琴连碰都不能碰。And at that point, I knew that the all the work I was doing was causing the problems, and I knew I needed to step down, but I had no job to go to, and, um, and so we were in trouble. Um, one day, um, one of the pastors at the church gave a, a sermon on Persistence in prayer. That uh, if you really want to get God's attention, just keep on praying until you hear from Him. 有一天我听到个牧师讲到，你要坚持的祷告，祷告到神垂听了，才能够停下来。And so, um, and so that night, um, I prayed all night long. Um, I prayed, um, I, 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 I prayed all night long until a certain point where I felt like. In my spirit, I felt that I connected with God. 我就整夜祷告，整夜祷告，祷告到我感觉我的灵跟天上的神接上了以后。And so the next day, I had the, my phone in front of me, and I was going to call the musical director to tell him that I was stepping down. 所以隔天我就拿起我的电话打给教会呃这个童工，说我要辞职了。And before I could pick up the phone, I received a call from the University of Tennessee. <laughs> asking me if I wanted to join their staff. And it's a, a tenure track uh, position and um, and it would afford me and my family a, a very good living. And I forgot to mention that I don't have a college degree. So this was truly a miracle. And so then I, um, so, so I, my fa I resigned from the church and moved down to Tennessee with my family. And over God restored my musical career, and why I don't completely understand yet, but uh, and He also gave me my hands back. And 
And so since I've been back, I'm back to making CDs and, and, and traveling around the world performing. And then and I was even I won two years ago. And um so that's Leads me to today. So, uh, today, we are So, you said uh, you have a family, wife, and uh, two, uh, one son and one daughter. Yes. And uh, since given day, you you leave your family in the Tennessee all the way come oh. to the New um, last year, and he's promoting it, and so I came up because I wanted to help him out, and so that's why I'm here. Uh, so he's away and then from this after he had a chance to meet in Brooklyn. He stayed there for a few years. He had a chance to meet some people. He came to the New York Festival. 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 He came to the New York um, I will most probably be here in late winter and, and definitely in yeah, early spring. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Remember February 19th is Chinese New Year, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 so, welcome to Hong Kong, welcome in and come to visit us.